Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As per the latest press release by Ministry of Defense, INS Arihant has carried out a successful launch of its submarine launch ballistic missile SLBM on October 14, 2022. The missile was tested to a predetermined range and impacted the target area in Bay of Bengal with very high accuracy. All operational and technological parameters of the weapon systems have been validated. As per MOD, the successful user training launch of SLBM by INS Ayant is a significant to prove crew competency and validate the SSBN program, which is a key element of India's nuclear deterrence capability. A robust survival and assured retaliatory capability is in keeping with India's policy to have credible minimum deterrence that underpins its no first use commitment. However, the MOD did not tell about the type of missile which was fired. Now, the INS Arihant designated S2 Strategic Strike Nuclear Powered Ballistic Missile Submarine as having a displacement of 6,000 ton. It has four vertical launch tubes which can carry total 12, that is, three per launch tube K 15 missiles or four larger K 4 missiles. The integration of K-15 Sagarika is complete and has been operationalized in August 2018. Therefore, the recent test is most likely going to be for K-15 Sagarika missile having a range of 750 km. It is powered by two-stage rocket motor and solid fuel as propellant. The missile has a maximum speed of Mach 7.5. It uses inertial navigation system with GPS and Navic satellite guidance for mid-course and terrain contour matching for terminal stage. The missile has demonstrated single-digit impact accuracy in the previous trials. The Shori missile is a land variant of K-15. There is also a good possibility that the missile could be a 3,500 km strike range nuclear capable submarine launched K-4 ballistic missile. Back on 19th January 2020, more than two years ago, India had successfully test fired K-4 ballistic missile off the coast of Andhra Pradesh. The test was carried out by DRDO from a submerged pontoon which simulates the situation of a launch from a submarine. The most challenging stage of the missile is ejection from a submerged platform to the surface. This test was undertaken in full operational configuration during which the missile traversed a distance of 3500 km in approximately 21 minutes achieving a near zero circular error probability. Another test was conducted and was few days later, that is on 24th January 2020, which was considered to be the final developmental test of K4 paving its way for serial production. However, there has not been any reported test firing of K4 missile from INS Arihan. So there is a good possibility that K4 missile would have been tested from the Arihan. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.